everyone. Welcome to my in-depth look at an Overwatch config. I have recently got to play it thanks to Blizzard's free to play weekend and I've actually had a lot of fun with it and I've actually had a lot of fun making the config for it. While most of it is a traditional first person shooter config, I've actually gotten to see how far I can push radial menus. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at the config. As you can see by default, most of this is pretty standard FPS. We got jump crouch, fire out fire, the abilities on bumpers, ultimate scoreboard, menu, reload use, melee on right click. The scroll up is to click to change weapons. This is only for menus. And we have hero select uh, information for your hero and to spray your tag. For those interested, my right pad settings are practically stock, I believe. Everything in here seems to be default. I'm not sure if trackball mode is default or not, but if it is, then yeah, that's default too. Gyro is mostly default, except for sensitivity is pulled back a bit, and the smoothing's bumped way up. Other than that, it's also pretty stock. Now the interesting thing happens when we go to the hero select menu, which when we push Y, we'll see that we enter the hero select in the game, then we switch to the hero select action set. In here, we basically have four radial menus, default on the left pad, right pad, and then left grip, left pad, and right grip, right pad. And what these are for are for selecting the four groups of heroes. So the left pad by itself is going to be your offensive heroes, which are found in the leftmost area. And I have all seven of those. Likewise, when we go into the left grip one, we'll see all of our defensive heroes, all six of those. The right pad has our tanks, all five of those, and the right grip turns it into all five supports. Aside from that, we have X as hero info, just as it is in the default one. Uh, A is to select your hero. B, if you ever enter this um, action set on accident, will get you back to default. And Y is a very specific case to select Soldier 76, since he's the only hero that I have with a separate action set. Now, when you go into the hero info menu from the hero select menu. I have an action set for this. It's A, it basically hits continue and brings you back to the hero select. But if I use this one, A also changes back to the default binding or default action set so that you can return to the game. So I had to make a whole action set just for an A button. Kind of sad about that. Uh, I could have used a mode shift, but it kind of takes away some of the automation and I'd rather have an extra practically empty action set that is automatic where A always continues from where you're at rather than have to think that I need to hold a grip or something else to continue out from the hero info. And if any of this is confusing, I'm definitely going to load up the game in a second and show it all off. Um, so that you can see it in action. The only difference for Hero Soldier 76 is since he has a true sprint, I've put that on the outer ring binding. And left shift used to be ability 1, so I've moved ability 2 over and I dropped the alt fire from the soft pull to right bumper. Other than that, he's just like the others. So let's see this in action. Uh, the only caveat is that when the match is loading, you need to press the Y button to change to Hero Select. Otherwise, you'll have to use the standard um, right pad mouse to select manually. So what we have here is the left radial selects your offensive heroes with the left grip is your defensive heroes. Right pad are your tanks and right grip plus pad is healers. A con hits continue, brings us into the match, and like I said, this is pretty standard FPS VR here. 
nothing special about it but when you press Y we go to change hero we get our radials back and eventually you'll memorize stuff like this is hero soldier 76 and this is Widowmaker junk rats right about there Reinhardt's there those are those are my main so I've kinda gotten used to where they're at and when you press X it'll bring up the hero information pressing A brings you back and you can use your radials again and as I said earlier Soldier 76 actually has a specific action set and you actually press Y to get to that and now Sprint is on the outer ring binding and as you can see if I increase the opacities back to where they are by, by default you can see these are actually just radial menus with mouse positions and then a left click after to actually select the hero so they pop up but that's an eyesore covers up the character select screen so I've turned down the opacity on all of them and I think it comes off looking extremely clean very very nice I'm very happy with this it took me oh, it took me a long time to do actually because as you can see with my chat box over here oh, or as you can see what happened there just a few minutes and you're kicked from the match for AFK so it took me a long time to get all those mouse positions down get everything coded correctly with the proper activators and delays but I am more than pleased with the out with the outcome and I think that about wraps this up. Uh, I wanted to make a separate action set for Torbjorn and Mercy as well, but it would have been a lot of work. I could have set up an action activators for the uh, for Y and maybe done long press and double press and use those to select just like soldier 76 is a regular press but man it would have been a lot of work to do for a little bit of return those two characters actually function really well at the default it would have just been like one or two changes minor changes soldier 76 was the only one that actually had a, a big change I felt he had three huge button um, replacements so yeah there's my uh, Overwatch config. The VDF file is in the description. I will not be uploading it to the Steam community configs. It's it would be difficult to detail in the hundred and or so characters that Steam allows. So I wouldn't want a random person to pick it up and just think it's absolute junk. Because it is, it's it would it would need to be documented in some way. I would need to link this video, or maybe a couple paragraph link to a couple paragraphs that someone could read. So, yeah, if you want it, the VDFs in in the description. I'll also provide a link for uh, a tutorial that'll get you started on using VDFs and copying them to the right folder so that you can access them. All right. Uh, until next time.